This has changed Genshin Impact forever. With Genshin Impact introducing 5 star characters that essentially need their 4 stars that come alongside them, it has become inherently clear in the direction Genshin Impact is heading. You no longer can summon a 5 star without their 4 star counterpart to truly bring the full potential out of the 5 star unit. A lot of you might say, well, we kind of just don't need 4 stars anymore. We kind of have all the 4 stars we need. And if we need a 5 star to truly get any support, we would just summon a 5 star as well. And at this late in the game, then I would have to agree with you wholeheartedly. As we have we have characters such as Shen He coming out, it's seemingly just doesn't seem quite fitting for you to specifically summon a five-star unit without their four-star unit that comes alongside them. Now we've already had a couple of instances in which the four star character is pretty much a must when it comes to the five star. The most recent one we've had is Scaramouche's banner in which Scaramouche is there as well as Farazan which helps a lot with the Scaramouche you know team compositions and a lot of you might say well you don't really need Farazan to really help out with the you know Scaramouche compositions and I say well I think you're a little bit off topic and in the sense that yes sure you could have maybe Akaza instead which you know can support uh, our Scaramouche in some other way or you can have Gene some you know just support in some other way or maybe even C4 Gene if you're lucky enough or unlucky enough I should say but all I do know is that Scaramouche definitely came alongside Farzan for a reason. And that's because they, and they both go alongside each other. And it just makes a lot of sense for you to summon them together and have them both on the same team. Now, a character like Farzan does need a lot of constellations all the way up to C6 to see the full potential of her actual kit. However, that does not necessarily mean that you need to C6 that 4-star character. For your five star to do anything in fact garmush is a character that doesn't need that much support other than the fact that well he could get support um uh, skarmush is super hyper carry focused you can just stack all damage on him and you'll have a pretty good time generally and a character such as arataki ito well we're gonna have to talk a little bit about that now ito is a powerful character and one of my favorites to play kit wise. Now, in terms of his actual element Geo, he does not fend well against a lot of opponents in this game. However, his Geo team is very powerful. Having characters such as Goro to support him, which is also on the same banner that he was released in all the time. And I'm pretty sure without Goro, Ito was kind of, you know, all right, you know, he can keep up on his own. You can have a character such as Albedo and Zhongli to really help you out on the team. And it just doesn't seem right for you to not summon Goro or Arataki Ito. Now, I don't see why you wouldn't summon them both together. They're on the same banner and you would have to, you know, level them both up together. And in this sense, that is an interesting way to move along for Genshin Impact's future. You know, you'd have your four-star character come alongside the five-star together all the time. Not a bad way to go necessarily, but it is definitely a different direction that Genshin Impact is now heading. From the four-star characters that we had in the past in which their full potential were unlocked and you could actually support characters that are out of their element, such as Bennett, such as Sucro, such as Shingcho, and... Or, you know so on and so forth these characters really have the ability to stay on the, the sub lines and you can you know get them whenever you want on any team now characters like that have now been you know been introduced such as you know kazaha but kazaha is a five star character if we you know remember characters such as goro such as kujosara such as the new uh farazan are very specific towards their teams and their characters and generally would go alongside the character they're released with. Now, it does not mean that you can't run them 
without their specific five stars of course you can you can run farzan in a xiao team which i am very excited to try out which i still haven't yet because i'm still leveling up my farzan also includes you know other teams and stuff that you can have farzan on that is a definite benefit of getting a four star character whilst trying to get the five star however genshin's direction with having a five star with their specific four star is very prevalent now more than ever and that is generally the case of i'm trying to make in this video is that G genshin impact are now going in a direction in which you summon a five star you have the four star to come along with them and that is definitely a game changer and it is kind of okay it's not very much so that is meta breaking that you can't use your old four star characters or your old four star supports no of course you can use those support but now if you are a new genshin impact player you're going to have a tough time getting those old supports as you are going along with you know trying to summon for new characters and new banners and it's making it a little bit unusual for new players that come into genshin impact to play for the very first time now in the new players account you would have your standard banner and your limited banner your weapon banner as well as a you know beginner's banner with no well on it and that banner is a now way more valuable as you can only get old four star characters on that banner of course, the new standard banner has all the new four stars that have been added. Um, and Farazan will be on that one as well as soon as this banner is over. So that is something to consider as you're a new Genshin Impact player coming into the game. You're not really sure on what to do. That is going to be a little bit confusing for you. So maybe Noel's banner now has a lot more value because of it being four star characters of you know the old you would get the sucrose you would get you would get a bennett or official or you know all the old monstat characters that you can get on the new and yeah i just wanted to talk about that how it's really interesting in the direction that genshin impact is taking their five star characters now that they're two years into the game a lot has a lot of development a lot of you know predictions and how it's going to move on and how they want the game to progress from now on it's just very generally interesting how they want to shape genshin impact with their five star and four star character banners so it is going to be pretty interesting to see uh what they do with this and how they move along maybe a new four star character that is universally applicable to many teams will come out i don't know we're just going to have to wait to find out for now we're going to look forward to al haytham as well as yao yao which are both dendro characters so yeah genshin impact's direction with this is pretty interesting to me and i think uh, yeah we just have to accept that this is how it is and uh we just have to move on and see how it goes from here but yeah that is going to be pretty much it that is how genshin impact has changed forever in this manner as genshin impact five star characters now come alongside a four star or a four star comes along a five star rather in which they you know pretty much melt together in the same team and that is going to be pretty much it from me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel. I really hope this video was worth your time. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.